description of this video. Hatching eggs has been a headache to many poultry farmers, with the best hatchability percentage being 75 to 85%. Local farmers using artificial hatching and poorly managed hatcheries uh, have as low as 55% hatchability percentages. That is why in today's video, we are going to discuss about how to improve hatchability as high as possible. Uh, let's discuss about uh, what factors affect hatchability and how to manipulate or uh, shape these factors to achieve high hatchability percentages during the incubation of eggs. The first factor that affects hatchability is the breeder nutrition. When I say breeder nutrition, I mean the feed that is being fed uh, to the breeding stock. Uh, the breeding stock uh, should be fed uh, with sufficient amount of feed that is of high nutritional composition because a good and well-fed uh, breeder stock that is the chickens that are expected uh, to uh, to lay eggs that will be used for incubation high quality uh, eggs another thing that you should uh, pay attention to is the disease management procedures sick or unhealthy breeding stock will give low quality eggs and also these are uh, unhealthy uh, chickens will have diseases that can also be transmitted into the chicks and this will give rise to a situation where you find uh, ill chicks uh, that will die soon after hatching make sure that the biosecurity measures uh, have been put in place and are enhanced in the farm and also make sure that you follow an approved vaccination schedule. A good vaccination schedule will uh, make the breeding stock to be healthy at all times and this will improve the quality of the eggs and good quality eggs means that the hatchability percentages will increase. Another major factor that you should check is the mating activity. Uh, the cock to hen ratio should uh, be 1 is to 5 up to 1 is to 10. This ensures that every hen is serviced by a cock, therefore laying fertilized eggs. And you, also, you should also know that unfertilized egg will not hatch. Egg fertility can be done uh, through candling. Egg candling is a procedure where you check for a dark spot that is usually visible when the egg is uh, observed against a strong source of light. Uh, you'll be able if you check against if you check an egg against a strong uh, source of light, you'll be able to see a dark spot that will amplify that the egg is fertilized. Another major factor that you should consider is the egg handling. Laying nest littering material should be one that allows aeration. The littering material should be either hay or straws. The straws should be from grass or rice. And also you can decide to use the wood shavings. Remember that the egg ha uh, has a living uh, embryo and hence it requires abundant aeration uh, for proper hatching to take place. Avoid using sawdust or newspapers as a littering material in uh, the hatching nest. This is because they do not allow a proper aeration and this can uh, bring the hatchability percentages down. Another major uh, thing that you should know uh, about egg handling is that you should uh, properly wash your hands before collecting eggs that will be used for uh, incubation and this is because uh, if you you tamper with the eggs with, with bacteria or pathogens then these pathogens can uh, penetrate into the eggs and this can cause uh, diseases uh, that can affect the chick once it is laid. Another factor that you should put into consideration is egg sanitation. Clean litter in the laying nest ensures that the eggs are also clean and the dirty littering material in nest should be replaced to avoid feces on the egg as this uh, can block air spores on the egg preventing air from uh, reaching the cells that are inside of the egg and this can lower the hatchability. Uh, also do not wash or clean the eggs. Some you'll find that some farmers use wet clothes to clean the eggs. Avoid this because eggs are laid uh, with a protective layer that protects the entry of microorganisms and pathogens. Therefore, if you wash uh, the shell of these eggs, you are going to remove this protective layer and this, this will predispose the, the egg uh, with the pathogens and microorganisms that can, can penetrate into the eggs and cause negative effects uh, during hatching and you will find that uh, some of the chicks will die soon after 
being hatched because of these uh, pathogens and microorganisms. Another thing that will definitely affect hatchability is the egg storage. After collecting eggs, uh, you should store them in an egg tray. On the tray, the wide part of the egg should face up and the narrow part of the egg should uh, face downwards. This is because the wide part uh, has an air sac. This air sac is where uh, the embryo will breathe from. If proper aeration does not take place before the egg is incubated, then you will find that the hatchability percentage will come down. Eggs that are to be incubated should not be stored for more than 10 days. This is because after 10 days, hatchability decreases by 0.5 to 1.5% per day. Also, another thing that you must note is that egg with deformities should not be incubated. Click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to boost the growth per performance and the production of your broilers and layers by supplementing them with the green tea powder.